Uh, we are going to come on to our backs here next. Grab a pillow or um, thin blanket for your head. Bring your strap with you. If you do have a nice long strap, meaning like an eight footer or longer, then you might wanna try this next little add-on I have for you. We're going to make a big loop. And so I've done my strap up. So I've got this big loop and I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to place the loop around my body, just around my torso. And make sure the buckle side is not under you. So we're gonna lie down with the strap in contact going like along um, our shoulder blades or our shoulder blade tips, right about where the bra strap would go. So you can support yourself as you release back. So we've got this big loop. If you don't have a long strap, um, don't worry about it. You can still just use the strap for our normal leg like, stretch postures. So once we're here on the back, Exhale, just draw the right knee into the chest, and we are going to thread the right foot into the strap. So you might adjust where that strap is at the lower back. I'm pretty short, and I have short legs, so I am going to just cinch up my strap a little bit. I want it to feel nice and snug so that I'm feeling that lengthening into the back of the right leg. It's kind of nice because we don't have to do any work with the hands. You can straighten your left leg out along the floor as you're ready. So we're taking a few breaths here in leg stretch number one. Nice little hands-free uh, leg stretch here. Breathing easy. Now from here, we are going to see about the leg stretch number two, or um, Supta Asta Parangustasana B, right? Where we let the leg float out to the side. So just depending on your chest, I do need to kind of slide that strap a little lower, so it's just underneath my bust, as I let that right leg fall out to the right a little bit. I'm not going as far as I might normally go in this posture, but it kind of feels good to have the pressure against the side ribs. Be mindful if you have sensitive ribs. Um, I've got a little bit more coming up here, so just bear with me if you can stand having this strap around your upper back. So we are still activating this left leg a little bit, just so we don't feel like we're going to totally fall over onto the right side. One more inhale, exhale, floating this right leg back up. Yes, we're gonna reach it to leg stretch number three. Again, you might adjust that strap so that you have room for your chest. So it doesn't have to be the full twist. You can just let that leg reach across a little bit. That's all I'm going for. So we can kind of feel a little bit more into that outer uh, right hip and leg. Couple more breaths here. Okay, here's the extra fun part. We're going to reach the right foot up to the sky. So do switch legs. I'm bringing my left foot in, so I'm threading left foot in. But before I take my right leg all the way out, I'm sliding my right ankle just over my left thigh. So I'm coming into thread the needle position or a uh, figure four leg cross with that right leg. Yeah. Now you might need to give yourself more space in the strap here. I am going to start to bend my left knee now. So the strap is crossing over my right shin 
and around my left leg. Hopefully you can uh, kind of see what's going on. From what I can see, it looks like you guys got it. So my knee is just bending maybe towards 90. So this is kind of a nice way to deepen that thread the needle. We're breathing into that outer right hip. And always adjust the tension in that strap. For a slight little add-on, you might shift or lean your legs just slightly to the left and maybe moving a couple of centimeters here. legs back to center. So straighten your left leg up. Just unthread your right leg. So you can bring the right foot to the floor. Extend the knee as you're ready. We're coming into regular leg stretch number one on the left side. Just a couple more breaths here. Now slowly begin to slide that foot out to the left. Again, just adjust the pressure of the strap. Keeping your right side grounded. Just breathing into this mild abduction of the hip. Opening of the inner thigh. And slowly float that left leg back to center. We're going to reach it across the body a little or a lot. It's totally up to you. Uh, for me, I've been feeling pretty tight in my outer hips and my um, IT band lately. So I'm going to keep it a little bit more in the IT by not worrying about the twist so much. Just leaning that leg across the midline. Both shoulders should be grounded. Neck relaxed. Breathing easy. And then let's float that leg back to center. So uh, do re-thread your right foot back into the strap just so we can get that thread the needle on the left side. So the right foot is pressing into the strap, bending the left knee now till the ankle crosses at the right thigh for your thread the needle. Now you kind of know what we're getting at here, so if you'd much prefer regular thread the needle, please adjust as you need to. You might see about bending into that knee. So I'm bending my, uh, sorry, my right knee now, kind of brings more pressure onto the strap. A little bit more pressure on that external rotation in the left hip. Breathing deep into this left side.
Lastly, you might lean your legs just slightly to the right. So a couple of centimeters maybe. This last few breaths here and thread the needle. thread the needle so you'll straighten that left leg uncross right you straighten the right leg and cross the left one let's take that um, right foot out of the strap and you can leave it there if you'd rather just get it out from underneath you'll unloop yourself and let's take any uh, resetters or um, reclining finishing poses that uh, your body likes to take before Shavasana Maybe a half or a full happy baby sounds good to you. I'm just grabbing my right foot, keeping my knee super bent. And I'm actually going to sway here a couple of times, a little lower back massage, a little hip mobility. It might even feel good at this point to grab a hold of the right foot with your left hand. You can keep the knee bent. Just reach it across into a twist. You might extend that leg. Or you might just keep the knee bent, left hand on knee. So I'm coming into a full reclining twist here. Ah, just a few breaths. As you're ready, we'll come up to center. If you're doing a one side at a time like me, we'll come into our uh, half happy baby on the left or just return back even to a full uh, happy baby. And I'm just rocking side to side. Maybe switch hands. So right hand is now holding my left foot as I guide my twist across the body to the right. Knee can stay bent or straighten it out. And or bend the knee, right hand on outer left knee and just holding it in this knee down twist. As you're ready, floating back to center, just setting up your props however you like them for Shavasana. I usually like to just kind of lift my hips for a second, a mini uh, bridge, and then release them back down for a little reset. So depending on your lower back, you might just keep your knees bent uh, like I'm doing here in half Shavasana. You could also slide your blocks or your bolster under the knees. So just snuggling into your most relaxing posture. Adjusting so the head, the neck is neutral, the arms relax, the feet Display open, relaxing the hips completely. Let the eyes close and focus on the flow of the breath in and out the nose. Following that breath up to the space between the eyebrows. Relaxing the skin across the forehead. 
Releasing the skin along the temples and the jaw, the lips, release. Jaw relaxes, throat softens, heart center opens. Belly relaxes. Thighs, kneecaps, and shins release. Tops of the feet, tips of the toes, letting go. Follow breath in through the nose to the inner ears through the outer ears, releasing the sides of the neck, the shoulders, upper and lower arms melting into the earth. Backs of the hands, palms of the hands, fingertips letting go. Following that breath in through the nose to the top of the head, down the back of the head. Releasing through the neck, the upper back, and the mid and the lower back melts down. Backs of the thighs, backs of the knees, calves dripping. Soles of the feet letting go completely. Breathing right here. Gently begin to deepen the breath. Waking the body, wiggle fingers, toes. Take a stretch. When you feel like it, roll to one side. to a seated position from there. I'm just pausing here for a moment. Sitting tall, bringing one hand to the heart center, other hand on top. Just thanking your body for this practice. Thanking yourself for making the time to be here. So let's tune out and seal our practice together with one ohm inhaling. Um, 
palms together in front of the heart, bowing the head. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. May we live like the lotus flower at home above the muddy water. Namaste.